possible since I try to since I try to extend my C drive, uh, what caused a problem with the Windows Wood. And uh, it took me more than two days to fix this problem. Uh, hopefully, I fix it this morning. But uh, I need to reinstall my programs. So uh, I hope I can catch up uh, with my team. Uh, this is uh, the big challenge I faced uh, in the last few years. OK, so all your members are active. Uh, no problem so far. Yeah, they they uh, were active when, when I was in, but uh, I absent for two days, uh, so I couldn't contact with them. So uh, I will try to to understand what happens when when I, I was not there. No, oh, okay. Two two days. I mean, uh, we just have five days. There were only five days, and missing two days out of five is um, is maybe a bit too much. So, how are you planning to manage? Uh, uh, one of the one of these two days was uh, Sunday, so I, I didn't miss uh, too much. I think so. I, I will try to talk with my team to. Make a uh, make a meeting and see how we can do this. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, okay. Good. That's great. And also, did you manage to submit a Saturday submission? Uh, in some way, I submitted par uh, part of the submissions, so uh, I will try to fix this problem. I don't know how. To fix it, should I ignore the interim submission and focus on what I shall do for this week, or try to submit what I missed? So this I will discuss this with my teammate also. Okay. Okay. Um, are you comfortable telling us what uh, your blocker is, so that maybe we can have a solution? Uh, here on the stand up, or do you prefer just uh, having a discussion with your team uh, mates? Uh, I solved I solved uh, the blocker, so this is uh, the good part. Uh, so that's all. Okay, okay, and that's good. So next we have um, Hillary. Hillary, can you speak up? Yes, good morning. Um, so uh, I've, I've been I've, I've been able to uh, continue working on the on the tasks. Now I'm trying to work on task five from the challenge document. And as uh, Friday was uh, intense for me, um, I I got a challenge. I was trying to to run code server uh, to run code server, uh, but since Plus, uh, Redash is using Flask, yeah, it will have conflicted with the ports, and I had to run it on different ports. And you now, com the communication was uh, hard for me to understand. And I, after after like uh, the entire day of Friday and Saturday, I was able to get the solution by using Jinx uh, to, to write a reverse proxy. And that, and so today I was able to move on to try to uh, come up with the uh, autom automation of dashboards and queries and uh so our team uh so far we we've, we've been um not so collaborative one of our one of our members has not been communicating and uh since uh, since the first day i think um after we had divided the tasks um he's not been communicating and um the other members has been having issues with uh, the installation of redash and um Took, took more than like maybe two days and we've been trying to figure that out and uh, uh for that i've i've um organized a meeting and uh to to try and troubleshoot that issue so uh yeah the said the saturday uh, submissions i i uh I'm, I'm i'm really grateful that i started working on them late and i submitted one one of them or I submitted like a minute late or so because uh, because of the process of um, uploading 
the the links and and one question i had is that uh if i so since i i didn't document everything i i was supposed to that i had worked on on the report interim in the, in the on the interim report too so i was asking if i can like resubmit my my other work that i like my recent added um progress thank you okay okay good um it's good um that you've managed to submit uh whatever you had uh, and also, yes, uh, you can resubmit on the, uh, on the, what do you call it? On the uh, comment section, on the personal comment section on 10X, but it uh, will not be graded as, it, you know, you'll just receive a feedback, but it won't be included in the grades since it's, um, it's late. So, yep, and for the group, uh, for your group members, we am also reaching out uh, to one of your teammates and we will have a call today. So I will make sure to update you as well. So what else do we have on? Um, yeah, I think that's all. Uh, did I answer every question, Hilary? Uh, yes, thank you. Yeah, okay, okay, that's good. That's great. So, and also if you're having any other serious blockers for you or your team members, you can maybe list out the questions and raise it on our Q&A session today. Yeah. yeah okay. okay. Okay, great. So next we have David. David, can you speak up? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, um, I can't really hear you. Um, ah, what about now? Okay, you're back now. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was thinking that the interim submission was only two things, maybe the Wednesday things. I didn't notice that there is a new thing you should submit on Saturday, and I didn't submit them. I'm very late for that. Uh, because when I, I read in the slab, it says that interim inter 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 submission. So I just assume naturally that the only interim submission was the Wednesday's two documents. The one which I already submitted. So I think uh, when I see now, when I see it now, there are a lot of things that can submit. Uh, about the group dynamics, I think uh, we are doing the group up to Friday around up Friday, and uh, maybe some conflicts. Uh, but we, I think we have solved them. Uh, I think now after seeing that I am late for the lot of things to submit in Saturday, uh, maybe I feel very sad. Hmm. Okay, okay, good. But um, I mean, it was explicitly stated that uh, the interim two submissions are scheduled were, were scheduled for Saturday. And also we mentioned that you should check the challenge documents for the updated submission. So I don't really understand how you missed that. I don't know, David. But um, OK, then what's your plan uh, to catch up? Um, I'm just planning to maybe submit all the remaining things today. Is it possible for us? Okay, so did you communicate this with your team as well? Uh, yeah, I'm planning to. Okay, but I would love to. I, I, I just I just saw. The, I just I just saw the submission part. Okay, you mean you mean you you just checked the announcement today or? Okay, if you're speaking, you're on mute. Um, okay, then make sure to communicate with your team 
and make sure to have a solid plan on how you'll be able to submit uh, the submissions today. So um, we, you already have almost uh, one day, maybe two days left before the presentations, even though it's a group uh, project, we will also be um, assessing you individually. So yeah, make sure to catch up and also communicate with your team as well. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, good. That's great. So any, are you having any blockers? Are you having any blockers, David? Sorry, I was talking, uh, the mic was off. Uh, I didn't have uh, any blockers. OK, that's great. Then uh, you're good to go. Uh, yes, yeah, so just make sure to work on it. Um, next, we have Mr. Mr. Can you speak up? Hello, good morning, everyone. Um, so for the submission on Saturday, uh, I managed to submit everything on time, but the GitHub link I submitted, it doesn't have any new work uh, after Wednesday because uh, I spent the entire week trying to figure out uh, the Redash installation. Uh, it was very challenging for me. Uh, I managed to successfully install uh, Redash in the, the chat add-on uh, yesterday. So um, my GitHub repository doesn't have anything new when I submitted on the sat on Saturday. Uh, about the group dynamic, uh, we are doing well, but uh, I think we lack some communication. So after this stand up, we are planning to have a meeting and I think we can so solve our problems then. Um, I'm feeling a little nervous because I don't think, I think I'm very late for this week's uh, submission. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to catch up, but I think we'll figure it out after the group meeting. That's it. Okay, okay, this is good. Um, I mean, we still have uh, two days left and it's good that you fixed your blocker uh, you, you you were having. So um, maybe what I would suggest is maybe have two calls per day, uh, maybe in the morning and afternoon so that you can just uh, keep up uh with everyone and you know with your team as well so yeah this is part of working as a group you need to update each other uh you know just follow up on each other and uh have a plan so that you are all aligned um yeah this is also uh part of the project so yeah uh, yeah this is good okay um, next, we have Javis. Javis, can you speak up? Yes, good morning. Um, on the submission for Saturday, yes, I was uh, able to submit uh, the uh, submissions on Saturday. Uh, then uh, uh, the blockers, I'm, I'm trying to figure out uh, how I can uh, give context to the the model the AI model uh, so that it can answer questions uh, from the data but I'm having trouble to figure out how I could give context to I I tried different things uh, using the API uh, or directly connecting to connecting it to the database but uh, nothing to, seems working I was able to do it uh, in another uh, uh, code. Uh, I just tried it in another uh, Python code, but it was working, but it is not working on the Redash. And I'm having some troubles on that part, and uh, it's, it's, it's blocking me, and uh, I think I'm stuck on that. Uh, and the other thing is some of the, the, the tasks that are um, uh, written on the technical document, uh, are, I, I don't understand uh, some of the the, the tasks that are put on the technical documents, like the uh, the quartz part uh, that we have to do on the backend, 
uh, and uh, it's also uh, uh, says something about uh, using uh, React to design the front end. But I thought it was uh, supposed to, we are supposed to design the UI using the Redash user interface, uh, the the dashboard using the UI. So it's it's a little bit confusing. I hope I will get answer maybe uh, today on the question and answer uh, uh, session about the group dynamic. It's uh, it's okay. I think we were busy on Saturday and we were not able to meet because uh, everybody was I think uh, busy on uh, trying to finish up the documents to submit. Uh, but I hope we will uh, meet today. And uh, my feelings, uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm okay, but I, I feel stuck. And uh, this 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 week's challenge is different from the others part. I think uh, there maybe the available resources. I don't know. Uh, it feels which uh, uh, um, I feel a little bit stuck. That's all. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Javis, for the detailed updates. And yes, uh, all your questions will be answered on the Q and A session. Um, our our technical team will also be joining now, but it's better to address it on the Q and A session. Uh, we thought it would be helpful uh, to have more of. Um, I think Abu Bakr. Is, are you? Do you have an answer for Javis, Abu Bakr? Uh, no, I thought uh, there wasn't on the list, and I was raising my hand to actually be next. Uh, uh, okay, okay. I thought I thought you were uh, you wanted to answer for Javis. So yeah, um, yeah. It's good that you've uh, you've, you've tried to uh, submit the Saturday submission. It's good. That's great. And yeah, make sure to to uh, get in touch with your team as well. I know it might be hard to work as a team, but uh, this is part of the project. So yeah, and yeah, this is great. Good. So next we have uh, Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr, you can go next, and then Abraham. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, so uh, about the submission on Saturday, I think uh, I've managed to submit uh, so most of my time was taken by the non-technical part the non-technical submission i think the carrier one so that always takes my time i think i have to figure out a way to do it more efficiently uh, so the as for the blockers uh, i think uh, most of the things are working fine, but uh, the, maybe the something related to the project uh, requirements. For example, I uh, it works really well on the data, the, the boards. Actually, I have been trying it. And it's really, it's really good, impressive. So when I ask it the any question about the data it answers the gives back the sql query but uh, i still have a problem with the next steps for example i think uh, this is i i this is what i want to clarify maybe i'll ask it on the q and a but uh, the thing is uh, what happens after the user gets the sql query like uh, do we create a dashboard visualization a table for it having that work uh, inside the core base seems a little bit daunting but i think it's possible but uh, this is this is ultimately my question i've been trying to implement but how the problem was how like if we give the our question to the bot it answers it, but when I copy when I copy paste it to the dashboard, it works fine. Then what happens after that? Like, do we ask the user to that, whether he wants to create the dashboard or what? That is that is my issue. And uh, also, uh, 
I've, I've tried to integrate lamp chain uh, so that there will be a function calling, for example, the AI would want to actually ask the database and get the returns. Uh, it, it works on the OpenAI API, but when I install Langchain on my Redash, somehow it breaks some changes. That, so is it okay if we actually continue with the OpenAI API? That is some of my concerns. I hope it's clear. So there are other questions, I guess. Uh, group dynamic, yeah. So about the group dynamic is is really good. Uh, one of our teammates have we haven't actually got in touch with her since the beginning of the project. So me and Adisu have been working. So we had a meeting for any blockers on Saturday. I think it's resolved, but uh, we are actually having some problems on that too. So how are you feeling? Uh, optimistic, I guess. I, I guess so, so thank you. Yep. Okay. Great. Thank you so much for the detailed uh, uh, update, Apple blockers. So, for the blockers, uh, Ram has just joined. Uh, maybe on the OpenAI key, you can uh, maybe raise your questions now. Uh, but for the others, I think the Q and A session is uh, more um, is more appropriate, I would say, because I think you're asking more about the goal of the project. I think. So yeah, that's nice, but we'll make sure to uh, address it um, in detail there. So for uh, for the group dynamic, uh, yeah, we make sure to contact me and I'm also working to uh, bring back an active uh, trainees. So we will uh, fix this. And yeah, it's good that you're feeling good. Uh, it's good that, to be optimistic. And there's always um, a problem, and you'll always feel better when it's fixed. So, uh, yeah, that's I mean, it's part of the yeah part of the process, I would say. So yeah, that's good. So um, maybe if you can maybe repeat the question you had about the OpenAI key, uh, so that's where Ahmed can address it. Ah uh, yes, uh, the problem is not uh, actually. The open AI key. The open AI key works well for me, but uh, the, it's, it, it, for example, I I want to uh, call the function by from uh, the LLM or open AI. So that that works well for me. For example, I ask it a question. It returns the SQL, and I give the that SQL to the function the LLM wants to invoke. So that, that also works well, but that is when only I, uh, I try to actually call OpenAI directly. So I think I, I wanted to also, there is, uh, there is a task that saying uh, integrate long chain and Lama index, I guess. So I wanted to do that on long chain. So when I try to install the long chain on my Redash, I think it, it's having a bad time compiling the image. I don't know why that, that was the question. So is it possible if we actually don't do the project with long chain or continue with OpenAI or do we have to do it with long chain. So what, what's exactly the error? Is it the installation that's not working when, when you install long chain? Uh, yeah, when I install long chain, uh, the image uh, throws an error. But when I install, uninstall the long chain from my Redash uh, setup, it works well. So, I think, I think okay, maybe. so I'm seeing Hilary is saying it's working well. Maybe Hilary can unmute or you guys can talk on this one. He's saying okay. it's working well for him. So, okay, so please 
maybe but if the long chain is giving you too much error since the submission date is near you can focus on using open ai maybe but maybe the first talk with hillary okay okay thank you okay good and Chavez is also asking some questions on the uh, on the in call message. Uh, can you maybe answer Abu Bakr, or should we uh, take it to uh, Slack? Uh, okay, uh, it's fine. So, what was the question? Okay, uh, okay, the data from the chatbot. Uh, so, what I did was I didn't give it all the data. I just uh, query my database load. The first task we were able to do was the EDA part in having those data uh, populate to the database. So after populating the database, uh, we will have the columns and the table name. So that's, I think that is the only thing needed for the SQL query to be written, but you can give it more context. Uh, for example, from our previous challenge the dbt had uh, some uh, detail on columns so you can give it more detail on columns i've been trying to do that but it, it was it was taking a lot of time i didn't so what i did was query all the database and its columns so and change those to uh, readable formats uh, i can i will send it on slack but uh, this is my database name, and its columns are these ones. And write all for that, or all for that, and uh, give it to the LLM. So, with the LLM understands better about my data. So, I think the first task was to give it. Then, whenever it returns a SQL query, like basically it's prompt, prompt engineering. So, whenever it returns the query, it adds those columns and table names. So. It understands well, uh, so I can give my prompts too. It's fine if you need to. So I think that is how I have, I was able to give it context on my data. Okay. Okay. Great. I think this explains well. If not, maybe uh, you can uh, discuss more on Slack, um, Java. Yeah. So yeah, we next we have. Okay, this is good. Next, we have Betalim, and before that, can anyone please uh, copy paste the um, the names I've listed out for uh, the stand up? I couldn't access it since I rejoined again, and so that I can uh, pin it. Yep. Okay. So next, we have Betalim. Okay. Morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, for the submission part, I managed to submit most of the assignments on Saturday night. Uh, the blockers I've been having so far is with Redash. I've been having problem with making, building up the website, composing using Docker Compose and trying to break down what has been uh, installed using the make down compounds and I've been stuck there. Uh, our group dynamic is good. We have been communicating in the my group, my group member Hilary has been trying to help me, but I st still the problem still hasn't been solved. But we are still working on that. My feelings, I'm a little bit nervous because I feel like I haven't progressed much, but I'm trying to catch up with the remaining two days. That's all. Okay. Okay. Good. So. Uh, what what else are we planning to do to address your blockers? Uh, did you maybe um, send it to Nana? Is it something that can be solved uh, by Nana, or uh, what's our plan? I did send it to Nana on the Nana support channel, and it tried to give me some solutions. I tried those solutions as well, but they weren't working for me, and. Uh, I've been trying to connect with Hillary and we've been trying to work out uh, my problems. We're planning on having a Google Meet and checking uh, my code base. Okay, this is good. Great. If uh, that's not working, maybe you can also contact uh, the tutors. They are very much happy to help. Yeah. Okay. okay, great. Next, I think we have um, Abraham. Abraham Taka, can you speak up?
Uh, yes, good morning, everyone. How was your week? I, I think I'm supposed to answer. Um, yeah, yes. uh, my weekend was good. I uh, Do you want me to tell you more? Uh, no, no, it's okay. Uh, about the assignments, uh, I have managed to submit all of the assignments on time. Uh, yeah, just like uh, Abu Bakr, the, the uh, career challenges were all time consuming, but I would still manage to uh, submit it. About our group dynamics, uh, we have a good dynamics, but uh, there is a lack of proactive communication between uh, the members and uh, some of the members were not being helpful. Uh, yeah, which has, there is some cases. I hope uh, they'll get improved uh, on the next two days or maybe today and tomorrow. About the blockers, uh, we have uh, this blocker. We were not able to make a request from uh, from the Docker instance or from, or which, from our chat, or from Redash chatbot to our backend server. Uh, it's supposed to be our backing server was running at localhost uh, 5001. And uh, from uh, from when we tried to make the request from Joker, it was unable to reach uh, our backing server. If there's anyone facing this issue, it could help me out on uh, Slack or something. I think Hillary have uh, also, uh, Hillary was also, have faced this issue too. I hope uh, you could elaborate. What was the last question? Last question yeah. is, how are you? Hmm? Last question is, how are you feeling? So oh, far? I'm feeling, yeah, I'm feeling super excited. This is uh, one of the base projects I'm doing. And it's, uh, we are using latest technologies to build the, what seems to be impossible. And yeah, I'm super excited for it. Challenge. Okay, amazing. This is really good. So, for the uh, blockers, maybe uh, anyone who's facing the same issues, maybe you can show us a reaction. Anyone who's facing the same blocker as Abraham? Okay, anyone else? Okay, Hillary, you can speak up. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't get the blocker. I I heard that you mentioned me, and uh, I, I I think it's about the quad server or something. I think I I didn't hear the last part. Can you maybe uh, speak again? Um, I I don't know what he uh, what the blocker he had, but uh, since you mentioned me, I think it was about maybe quad server or uh, in integrating. Quad uh, using quad quad as uh, another server. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, the blocker I have is like I was unable to make a request to my backend from the Docker. I have two separate uh, engines running. The Redash is running on Docker, and I'm running my backend server locally on five uh, localhost five thousand and one ports. And uh, I made an interceptor that accepts the user input or the user request and send that question or request to my backend or running on localhost. And uh, since they are uh, uh, isolated, the Docker and my network, uh, the requests have uh, are unable to reach the the backend of my code or my Quark uh, backend API. That's the problem I'm facing. I think uh, Hilary mentioned the reverse proxying or maybe port mapping solutions. Anybody's doing it in my way and uh, you are facing the same issue. Is that clear, Hilary? Yes, um, I, I, think, I think it's the same thing I did. I I had my code server in a different, on a different container and uh, just the same way I used the Nginx uh, for reverse proxy, and I'll share I'll share like how I did that because Nginx will will draw the different endpoints to uh, to the suitable server. I'll share my 
That would be great. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, that's good. That's great. That's really good. It's always great when we find answers promptly just on the stand-ups. So yeah, this is good. And next we have Daisy. Daisy, can you speak up? Uh, hello, good morning, everyone. So I, can you hear me? Yep, yes, we can. Okay, okay. So yeah, I managed about the submissions, I managed to submit the interim reports and the links and the career documents on Saturday. And I had a restful weekend. And um, so far today, I'll be working on the back end. I was feeling a little nervous because I had not started that. But yeah, I'll be focusing on that today, implementing Langchain, and I'll be referring to the to Slack and to the comments and the problems that people have already solved to help me to make it easy for me to cover that today. Uh, about the group, I, I, we have great um, communication between us. Uh, we've been collaborating and updating each other regularly on Slack. Although we still have um, one missing member, I don't know if he will be able to participate this week. But so far, we, we we are sharing everything between the two of us. Yeah, that's it for me. Okay. Okay. Good. It's good that you're progressing uh, well. And also, uh, just after the stand up, I will make sure to check in on all group channels on uh, the group uh, chats. So uh, maybe you can confirm uh, that you're um, online and then. If you're not there, then maybe, yeah, I will reach out to those that are not available. I think it's easier that way because I see uh, most people are not, mm, I would say, comfortable uh, telling who's yeah. not active. And honestly, it's it, it's okay to just uh, come forward and just tell who's not active because it will definitely affect your progress and which will affect your submission. So it's totally okay to to take the initiative to, you know, uh, bring the group together. And if people are not online, then yeah, it's it's totally okay. Um, okay, good. Next we have Joseph. Joseph, can you speak up? If you're speaking to your okay. Um, good morning. Good morning. No, oh, good morning. We can hear you. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. So um uh on my progress, um it's been quite a busy uh weekend uh trying to um finish up the project. Um I managed my submissions, however, my submissions were incomplete on the interim report um i'm still working on the redash in the postgres um it's been quite challenging uh, i don't know maybe because i've been multitasking too much not sure uh however uh, group dynamics um have improved they're good um uh we are working uh, night and day to um, solve our blockers yeah but uh, based on the challenge, yeah, there's so much uh, q and I have. However, I am uh, still working on trying to solve them uh, individually and uh, via the group. Um, yeah, that's all. Uh, have I answered all questions? Yep. Yes, you did. Except uh, you didn't tell us how you're feeling. Oh, how I'm feeling. Um, yeah, I had a good night's sleep. Um, I think seven seven hours plus. So I'm quite energized for today and for the week. Okay, this is good. This is great. Um, I mean, one thing I would add on this is that it's always, always better to submit uh, something that's incomplete or maybe something that shows what you've done so far instead of uh, not submitting at all. So yes, 
uh, that's really good. And it will also give you uh, the space to, you know, improve on the things that are left. And also uh, you can maybe share it to the tutors and ask for help, for guidance, so that you can uh, do well. And it's good that your uh, group is active. And yeah, uh, and I think someone is asking uh, when the Q and A will be. It's it will be today. It's also on this on the schedule as well. And um, yeah, it will be today at twelve p.m. Uh, UTC. If I'm not wrong, it's yeah, it's at twelve p.m. UTC, which is after three hours. Yeah. So by then, I think it's uh, it's better for all the groups to uh, to have a call and maybe list down all the questions you have, so that you'll be able to address it on the session and get answers promptly. So yeah. And if it's uh, we can also maybe have another Q and A session tomorrow um, before we start presentations on Wednesday. So uh, yeah. So next we have um, Gilbert. Gilbert, can you speak up? I think, uh, yeah, he left the call. Okay, um, Abdusalam, can you speak up? I think, okay, uh, if you're speaking, you're on mute. I think you're in the call, yeah. Abdusalam, can you speak up? We can't hear you if you're speaking. Yeah, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, you can. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, so basically for now, uh, we're able to submit uh, our progress on Saturday. So right now we are currently working on the uh, front end and back end, uh, back end integration to the red ash but currently the red ash is active we've been able to uh, install the uh, the add-on plugins so we are currently on track so what we all what we just need to do is to make uh, the uh, the chatbot uh, accessible for end user so the end user will be able to communicate with the uh, with the back end basically And uh, as for my teammates, uh, we are actively working to, uh, together. Yeah, everyone is active. So currently, there is no blocker. I would say the only blocker we have is just, you know, understanding the whole uh, integration process. But so far, we we are, we are on track. Okay. So how are you feeling? How are you feeling so far? Yeah, I'm feeling quite okay. It has been a very challenging project. You know, being the first time working on uh, something like this, it requires uh, a lot of research and collaboration, basically. So it's just challenging and it's basically taking a lot of uh, time, yeah. Okay, this is good. So um, let me start from the uh yeah from the submissions it's good that you've uh, managed to submit all and yeah. for, for the uh blockers uh i think it's it's more of a broad uh perspective i would say your question so it's it's better to address it on the q a session and yeah make sure to write it down uh so that you won't forget and for the group dynamic that's really good it's good that everyone is active and yeah, that's good. Uh, it's a good progress. And yeah, this is really good. So as as for the submission, yeah, I think uh, for the I I really don't know about others for the personal submission, which are the career uh, uh, challenges. I was able to complete mine, even though it was late. Yeah, I was able to complete mine. And for the group uh, submission, which is the uh, GitHub link, yeah, we all we uh, we fuck the individual uh, the repo. So our own GitHub individually, and we that was all we submitted. But the the whole project was a collaborative one, in the sense that you know each member had to create a branch for uh, uh, any uh, correction or any feature the the person actually worked on. Then we pushed to the 
branch, then finally we merge everything together to the master. Then that was all we did. Then we fork the repo individually. Then we submit it. So. Yep, that's good. That's great. Um, yeah, that's really good. So next, I think we have um, Salamate. Salamate, can you speak up? If you're speaking, you're on mute. Um, good, good morning, team. Can you hear me? Yep, yes, we can. Good morning. Um, okay. Um, so for did I manage to submit my Saturday submissions? Yes, I was able to submit um, uh, my Saturday submissions. I submitted all of it. And um, the problem with it was, uh, the, the challenge I had with it was, um, I was not able to install Redash by then. And uh, the the task I was assigned was front end, um, the front end part of it, and I couldn't render and check if it was working properly. But I just added certain code segments that I thought should be there to create the chat add-on and make that submission in the GitHub. But I'm not sure if it if it will work because I didn't get to check and see it. Um, so that was the problem with my Saturday submission. So probably the GitHub link is not uh, working perfectly fine and blockers currently um i don't know if this could be considered a blocker but uh, my computer um was, has been struggling to run two operating systems on after creating you know, ubuntu linux environment using ubuntu using virtualbox uh, it's not been able to manage both the operating systems and it was it was just st stuck in every other minute, pretty much. So I was not able to utilize the Linux environment as much as I would have liked. Um, so that has been a blocker, in a sense. And our group dynamic, our group dynamic is really good. Um, I get timely responses from my team member and also very helpful, um, easy communication. And we also have Google Meets. Um, frequently uh, also one of our teammates is also not responsive i've already let rahma to know about it so we're just doing it um, as a duo and it's going good how am i feeling i'm feeling a bit stressed because i can't i have not been able to see uh it's rendered and like actually debug and work on it and see the change actually rendering so that has been pretty stressful so far um, other than that, I'm feeling optimistic and hopefully we, as a team, figure something out and produce something that's presentable. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for the uh, detailed updates. And for your blogger, are, is there anyone else who's facing the same issue as Salamite? Make, maybe you can give us some tips or tricks uh, to do. Or maybe, Ramat, do you have any um, answers or just uh, recommendations? So it's not much of a blocker, it's just the, the purpose of condition. I don't know if there's much I can say right now. The other option would be just to use one operating system, maybe. If you have the time and the other team members can cover for you, you can install Ubuntu entirely instead of virtual box. So um, it's just the condition of the PC. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay, good. Um, yeah. Okay, great. I hope it uh, will get better, I would say. So, yeah. It's also good that you have uh, good groupmates, teammates, I would say. And for uh, the other groupmates who's not really active, maybe um, you can reach out to me. Uh, it's better to reach out to me, or uh, we will do just a round uh, check with all the teams on Slack, more of a Slack stand up, I would say, since not everyone is here now on the stand up so we will just do uh check with every team 
every group just after this stand up. So um, we have uh, two graces. So uh, Grace, can you speak up? Um, okay, I'll go first. Um, okay, yes, yeah. yes, so um, I've been experiencing um, some blockers with my system, but I was able to change it on Wednesday. So that um, I started the project on Thursday, so I've been a bit behind. But I tried to um, start with that on my system. I followed, I cloned GitHub and everything. But um, anytime I run it, the server doesn't seem to run, so I've not been able to progress with um the project but i've um tried to like reach out to some people to help out and my partner and i were experiencing the same problems we're having problems starting our server so that's my blocker okay so you didn't uh did you manage to submit on saturday or how was it no i've not been able to submit uh, okay, so what's the plan on catching up? Yeah, I um I informed um, Rhoda of my situation, so she's aware of my situation. But I also um I've I've reached out to my peer. Hopefully, he can help me out with the problems I'm experiencing. Yes, yes. This is um Rodas, by the way. I just noticed oh, that I joined, yeah, for the Ten Academy team accounts. So yeah, um, yes. I mean, um, just in general, like considering the blockers you're having or the issues you're having. So what's the plan on just moving forward with your team? Um, uh, are all of you having the same issues, or what's the plan? Are you having like uh, meetings or what's how, what, how are you planning to move forward yes we are experiencing the same problems and we have um, regular meetings and check-ups and i mentioned that i i have reached out to my peer hopefully he can help out maybe he has experienced that kind of problem because i use a windows system so i've been reaching out on the group on the general um channel to see if anyone is experiencing the same problems but i don't think anyone is or has experienced that problem because i've not been able to get um, res a response to solve my problem okay okay then um yeah we'll see how it goes so yeah this is good next we have uh grace grace uh you too i, I think i'm from i'm uh, um pronouncing it right i hope so can you speak up yes i can uh i was able to do the submissions on saturday not very confident about what i submitted but i submitted something uh, i took too long to run the readers on my computer i realized the docker couldn't Load the Docker desktop couldn't open, and I came to realize it was a problem with the Ubuntu version. The latest version doesn't allow the Docker desktop. So it took too long to realize that. That's why I was a little slower. Uh, on the group dynamics, as my group member said, uh, we have a lot to work on, so we are hoping to meet immediately after this. Yeah. Um, as to my feelings, I'm feeling Pack and a little lost. I'm quite behind, so I'm hoping I can catch up. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we still have two days left, and um, I mean, what I would suggest for everyone who's like feeling lost or not able to contact their teammates is um, to have a solid plan uh, to just divide up the tasks between the team members and just uh, work accordingly because um, you won't have much time to work on everything by yourself. So yeah, it's always better to um, yeah to uh, divide up the tasks. So this is good. This is great. So um, what else do we have? Announcements from the team. 
uh, we will be having a Q&A session today. Um, make sure to write up your questions or anything you have just before the session so that uh, it will be addressed. And uh, we will be having a more uh, Slack stand-up, I would say, just after this call. So I will be uh, just doing a round, a round check with uh, every group. So maybe I'll ask uh i'll ask you what your plan for today is and so on so yeah please make sure to answer promptly and uh, yeah i think that's all um and thank you so much for joining the stand up and yeah we i we will see you tomorrow yeah thank you guys and also do you have any other questions anyone who would want to speak up any questions suggestions or any recommendations if you have Okay. Okay, Hillary, yep, you can speak up. Okay, so um I'm seeing many of a rubbing blockers, so maybe I'll recommend they they post their issues on Slack because uh some are um so for Ubuntu I can help with that and and uh and some others and yeah it'll be it'll it'll be nice to, to see people are uh, uh, fixing their blockers. Um yeah. Amazing. This is good. So yeah, Hillary is volunteering to help on the Ubuntu blockers side. So thank you so much, Hillary, for the initiation. So please, please make sure to post your blockers on the channel, on the all week three and four channel, so that uh, yeah, it will be solved uh, promptly. So yeah, this is great. Amazing. So thank you guys for joining. And yeah, have a good day and also don't hesitate to reach out to me or the team if you're having any issues. And yeah, thank you for joining.